In this video, I'm going to show how Jethro and Moses are connected through Yael, the wife of Heber, the Canite. So as you know from past videos, Jethro was called by seven names, and Moses was also known by seven different names, and they share the name Heber, so Moses and Jethro share a name, and it is Heber, which means friend, associate, or companion. So you can see Jethro and Moses both share this name. Heber is Chet Beit Resh in Hebrew, which is the same spelling as the word Chaver, which is a person who is thoroughly knowledgeable in biblical law and the details and uh, Haver is certainly aware of the details of all these laws. So he's an expert in something, in biblical law, which is appropriate for both Jethro and Moses, considering uh, Jethro set up the judicial system and then told Moses to teach the people the laws. So they were both knowledgeable in Torah law. So we said that Haver and Heber are related in spelling, the exact same spelling, which brings us to the wife of Heber the Canite, Yael. And in Judges 4.21, famously, Yael, wife of Heber the Canite, took a tent pin and grasped the mallet, and she drove the tent pin through uh, Sisera's skull. As we've covered many times before, she's one of my uh, favorite people in the Hebrew Bible. And it says in Judges 5, most blessed of women is Yael, wife of Heber the Canite, most blessed of women who dwell in tents. So what's very interesting about this is whenever you hear about Yael, she's called the wife of Heber or wife of Heber the Canite, which we know is associated with Jethro, Heber the Canite, is pr probably his son or himself. Um, and we know they share this name. With, he shares this name with Moses. So what's interesting is there's this person in the Talmud who's called a wife of a Hever, the wife of a Hever. So in the t Torah, we have... Yael, wife of Heber, which is related to Haver. And then in the Talmud, we have this person, the wife of a Haver, is herself considered like a Haver, and you may therefore rely on her statement. So she is an expert in Torah law herself just by being in the same household. Now check this out. This is amazing. I, I just figured this out today. Okay, this is from the Talmud. The Gemara relates another incident that involves the status of a Haver and his household. So Rav Huna Bar Minyomi purchased sky blue dye. Remember this, sky blue dye for garments from the people of the household. For example, the wife of Rav Amram the pious. One may purchase sky blue dye for ritual fringes from a reliable individual as it is easy to counterfeit it. Rab Chona then came before Rav Yosef to ask if he could rely on her assurance that it was usable for the mitzvah. He, so he's asking the wife, the wife of this Haver. The answer was not available to Rav Yosef. Now watch this. Later, Hanan the tailor happened to meet Rav Chona, and he said to him, From where could poor Rav Yosef have known the answer to this question? Hanan continued, There was an incident in which I was involved as I purchased this sky-blue dye from the people of the household. So the wife of Rabbeinia, um, brother of Rabbi Chaya Bar Abba, and I came before Rav Matana to ask the same question. And the answer was not available to him either. I then, or I then came before Rav Yehuda 
of Hagronia, who said to me, You have fallen into my hand, i.e. I am the only one who can answer your question. This is so interesting to me. You have fallen into my hand, was his response. This is a play on words because the Canaanites, who we're talking about here, the wife of Heber the Canaanite, Sisera, all this, and Jethro, all Canaanites, he's making a play on words here because we know that the Nephilim are the Canaanites and they are the fallen ones. And then if you go all the way back to Cain, Genesis 4, 6, this is what he's talking about. And the Lord said to Cain, why are you distressed and why is your face fallen? It's the same root. It's Nephil. So then we carry on after this uh, little play on words here. This is what Shemuel says. The wife of a chaver is herself considered like a chaver, and you may therefore rely on her statement. We're talking about sky blue dye. Like maybe this? Uh, maybe Jacopo Amagoni <laughs> uh, figured this out about 400 or so years ago with Yael and this connection between the wife of Heber the Canaanite, Yael, and the wife of the Haver. Perhaps. <laughs>